We're here with Dr. Haitam Amin, a professor from Bahrain, who's just led the All You Need to Know About Bifurcations. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Bifurcation is a very complicated subject. You treated it in 90 minutes? Well, we, we, we had a comprehensive update on all the uh, latest um, um, data about uh, bifurcation. So the whole concept of all that you need to know is that in these 90 minutes, we'll have four didactic talks that basically covered the, the literature, uh, the evidence that, that is present in the literature, followed uh, following by that the technical uh, tips and tricks of how to actually address bifurcations that are actually quite common and quite problematic. Uh, we face that in the cath lab, how to basically deal with them. Be it, do you use one stent or two stents? And, and in our session today, we basically covered that. We covered the evidence, we covered the, the technical strategies, the tips and tricks. And then we, we, do, we went into the, we delved into the, what, what do the guidelines, both the American and the European guidelines, say about uh, bifurcation disease. And we ended on what to expect in the future. It seems rather complete. Now, I know that bifurcations are very specific in that you have dedicated stents that you use in, your, in the bifurcations. Can you talk a little about the ones you discussed today? Now, now the majority of people actually use the, the, the ordinary drug looting stents or other, other bare stents. And in the future, uh, we do have dedicated bifurcation stents. And this was actually discussed by Dr. Goran Stankovic today. Uh, they're, they're still not mainstream. We're still looking at uh, uh, data uh, comparing them to the, uh, you know, uh, provisional or, or uh, known, uh, you know, approach that, that using uh, ordinary stents, be, be, it, be it drug looting or, or bare stents. Uh, but I, I, think, I think we still have to give it time. We still have to wait for, for what studies of dedicated bifurcation stents, how, how will they match according to the, the gold standard? The gold standard right now is a provisional one stent approach to bifurcation. And, uh, you know, two stents, uh, we discussed it today. Uh, there are certain criteria where, where hopefully if you have a look at the um, uh, uh, um, a video, a webcast, you, you, you would actually come to know of that. Is this, were there mem members of the European Bifurcation Club and the, the people behind the guidelines yes, there actually, and present? Yes, actually three, three of the speakers as well as the chair were from the European Bifurcation Club. So uh, I, I, was, I was sitting among giants, so. <laughs> Do you think that this is something that the most interventional cardiologists are doing today or are there more and more interest in doing them? I mean, 20% uh, of interventions happen in bifurcations when, when we do, when you look at uh, studies like Syntax, for example, 70% of the patients who were referred for intervention, be it surgery or, 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 uh, or, uh, or PCI, had, had bifurcations, so it's common. We face it uh, on, on, a, on a daily basis in the cath lab. Knowing how to deal with it is actually very important. What is your dream for the future in treating bifurcations? That's a, that's a very difficult question. Um, uh, the dream is uh, if we could do it safely, where we could uh, do the procedure uh, in a timely fashion, uh, where we can uh, um, have the patient leave the cath lab uh, without any complications, and then that, that the long-term uh, uh, event rates, so that uh, the, the, the complications or, or the MACE rates are low, uh, and to basically make the patient uh, um, symptomatically better and uh, prognostically have, have less, less events. So, so ultimately, what, all that we do is, is, is take all that we have and, and, and try in the cath lab to give the best to the patient who is actually on the table. Right. And I imagine imaging as an imp in improvements in imaging and, and things like that also enable you to treat the patient better. Yes. Now, it, it is really essential that, that, that because uh, Bifurcation PCI is, is considered complex, where, where 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 you actually need to get to gain more information. And, and we've looked we've looked and we've talked about adjunctive imaging, be it using IVIS or OCT to actually help, or uh, FFR, so hemodynamic uh, assessment of of lesions, especially the side branch. So, so when we usually do uh, do the provisional stent, we we would stent the main branch and then address the side branch. And um, FFR, which is hemodynamic assessment of the side branch, has, has, has come across as, as a valuable tool to aid us in making a decision. Should we proceed with the second stent or should we just end with the, with the uh, one stent provisional strategy?
So a, w a wide range of techniques and tips and tricks for the, for the cardiologist to learn. That's correct. And what, what are your closing remarks to our audience? Well, uh, uh, the, the all that you need uh, to know is, 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 in, is one of the uh, strong educative uh, you know, foundations in, in Europe PCR. I would, I would advise all my colleagues to actually have not just bifurcation, but, but the other uh, uh, subsets, you know, that there was about mitral valve disease and, and approach to left main. So all the different, all that you need to know, sessions by PCR, visit the, the PCR website uh, to basically have, have a, a look at the videotaped um, a session. And of course, the, the new EDU online uh, web-based uh, education, uh, which, which was just actually launched in, in uh, Europe PCR this year. Well, we want to thank you very much for joining us and we look forward to seeing your section on all you need to know. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you.